I think they did. Well, I don't know if you guys saw this article that our science journalists did about sunscreen, but apparently um, this new research revealed that we may be getting less than half of the sun protection we think that we're getting. Really? And it ha I know, really. And it has to do with the way we're applying it. But turns out, I found out in our morning meeting, I wasn't even following sunscreen 101. So I decided to try to right my wrongs and then get some info that we all could use. <laughs> And you know what's funny? I didn't insist on sunscreen this morning because they've had a soccer camp where yeah. outside all day. And most days, it when like it's this. sunny, oh yeah, it looked like See, this. See, when we left, it was all beautiful. I had to live them off. That's so funny <laughs> that it's just like that different. But I just assume, yeah, I just didn't push the issue because I'm like, oh, it's cloudy, it's fine. So I'm coming to this soccer camp to try to get some sunscreen on. I'm sure they're going to be horrified <laughs> and embarrassed. Ava! All right, here I go. Sunscreen time. Ava Russell. <laughs> How's it going? Why are they ignoring me? <laughs> How's it going? Because I did not make you put sunscreen on this morning. And apparently we're supposed to do sunscreen even on cloudy days. We're, I, Why do you have that on? Because I'm doing I'm doing a story on how even on cloudy days we're supposed to wear sunscreen. <laughs> oh, we forgot to put it on. <laughs> All right, so we're talking about sunscreen. I'm Angela, out here with our science journalist, Juliana Villion. Thank you so much for coming out here on of such course. a beautiful day, such hard beautiful. work. Yeah. You know, this sunscreen article, a lot of people are talking about it. There are some major takeaways from it that you should know about. And the first one, we've heard before that you need sunscreen on cloudy days, but this is pretty significant because you theorize that maybe that's why our skin cancer rates could be higher here. Yeah, so um, in the Pacific Northwest, um, we have some of the highest rates of skin cancer in the country, and they think it's a combination of factors, but one of the main reasons is that if you wake up and it's gray out and super cloudy, you're probably not gonna think you need to put on sunscreen. Um, yeah. But doctors say that you really should be putting it on every day, no matter what the weather. Yeah, and I was guilty of that with my kids this oh, morning. Same. Okay, and then the other takeaway from this is that a lot of us aren't putting it on correctly. So I thought maybe you might demonstrate what is the correct amount that we should be using. Yeah, so the problem is that um, the SPF that you have on the label, that's calculated based on a certain amount that you're putting on. Oh. And so if you're not putting on the amount that the manufacturers think you should be putting on, then you're not getting as much protection as you think you are. Okay, so when it comes, this is one that we use. It's the roll-on. I get this because it's easier. Yeah. So here, I'll let one of the kids here demonstrate this. So with that roll-on, how do we tell if we're putting on? Can you put that on? Show us how you do it. I mean, how do we know if we're... Yeah, so that's actually, that's the problem um, with the roll-on or the spray-on is it's really hard to tell um, if you're just getting enough sunscreen on or not. There's not really a good way to make sure. Okay, and then let's show the amount we normally put on with this thing, okay? So let's see. So Maya, is that what we normally do, about that much? Yeah. So is that, so show us how you do it. So is that enough, or are we supposed to have more? Is that right? That's probably pretty close. Um, okay. They say for an adult face, you need about a peanut M&M size dollop. Okay, peanut M&M, okay. Yep. Um, so for a kid, you know, a little bit less because they have smaller faces, that should be fine. And then you said there's no such thing as waterproof? Yeah, so that's the other thing is um, sunscreen can be maybe water resistant, but it's not really designed to just be underwater. Um, so if you're going swimming or even if you're sweating a lot, you should reapply it um, once you've dried off. And here's the other interesting thing, and when I usually, I'll give you some too, when I usually do the sunscreen, I, sorry, we're towards the end. Um, <laughs> but normally when we do this, like I give it to them and that's it for the day. And mm -hmm. this study also said that, that like we need to be putting it on way more often than we are. Yeah, that's the, uh, the last thing I learned from the, the dermatologist I talked to is that really you should be putting it on every 90 minutes to two hours. Wow. So that's a lot of sunscreen. Wear sunscreen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Craziness. Well, you can text the keyword sunscreen to get all the details about the sunscreen study and how we really should be using it. But I love the, the bottom line takeaway is that we just need to apply more. Well, it's mm -hmm. interesting depending on who you talk to, right? Because you, you had a, your style, I had my style. Jordan said, no, I spray it this way. And I, yeah. I watched people over the weekend doing it with the spray. Mm -hmm. Only about half people were actually rubbing it in. And right. people, oh, it says you don't have to rub it in. But I always think of it as like the sprays you buy for like the shower, right? And so no scrub, come on.
You gotta scrub if you wanted to. Be <laughs> and I feel like sunscreen is at that point now. It used to be very uncool, at least when I was growing up. I was like, for I sure. Don't know but now, if you just put the glob on your nose yeah. and leave it there white, you're cool. Yeah. Because you know it's doing good, right? It's like, I'll, I'll just leave it on my face. Yeah. I won't even rub it in. Right. It looked like kind of weird, anymore. but. <laughs> but the results, you, your yeah. face is more, yeah. you have beautiful skin. Yeah, you have beautiful skin. Mm -hmm. And you spend a lot of time outdoors. So. Yeah. It's working it's like for you. Good. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Good, good, good. <laughs>